Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on Windows 11, up until recently, the CPU usage figures in the task manager did not report correctly. And this has been a small niggly issue, especially for power users. Now, according to an article posted by Windows Latest, which I'll leave linked, this issue has been fixed by Microsoft with the cumulative update, if we head to our update history, KB5058411, which was the May Patch Tuesday update that rolled out earlier this month. And what it does is the update apparently switches the task manager to a single industry standard formula for CPU usage. That means the processes tab will now show results that actually match what you see under the performance and the user tabs where prior to this update those reportings of the CPU usage were different in those three different locations. So previously the Windows 11 CPU usage formula used by the processes tab in Task Manager didn't consider logical processes. Apparently, it also measured usage against the CPU's base speed instead of real-time performance, which led to a lot of strange results and reporting taking place, as mentioned. And as an example, sometimes one core going full throttle could trigger a 100% CPU in the Processes tab, even on a 16-core processor where it didn't report that, as an example, under your performance in the CPU reporting. So as mentioned, Microsoft now has fixed this issue with that update. And now apparently, according to the report, the task manager now uses the same formula used by PowerShell and Performance Monitor and third-party tools, which is this formula to correct that issue. So KB5058411 on Windows 11 24H2 has apparently brought consistency back to the task manager's reporting in regards to the CPU. And because of this now, you should be seeing totals and reporting that actually add up without any errors. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.